G'day guys, this is Rob from troutlaw.com.au with this week's fly tying video. We are tying the red tag dry fly. This is a request from one of our customers. Obviously it's a fly pattern that there's a lot of videos out there for, a lot of instructions in the books. It's not a new pattern by any means. This is my take on it. It's a fun, easy pattern to fly and an even better pattern to fish. So let's get started. I'm going to begin with a Daiichi 1180 hook in a size 14 goes into the jaws there and then straight in with Beavis Adult Thread in black I'm using the black because that's what was in the nearest bobbin this morning but you can use a brown if you prefer it doesn't really matter it's mostly going to get covered up by the materials it's only the hook eye that's going to be seen and even then a very minor amount so we're going to bring that thread back down to the bend of the hook and start off with the first material which is the tail the name for this fly the red tag we're using the lost fly tag tail this material is specifically packaged up for just this purpose so we're going to take a section of it trim that off to about an inch and then just clean that up we are going to place it on the hook for about two-thirds of the hook shank and completely wrap over it gently like that capturing all those fibers and bind down and bring our thread back to the bend in the hook. Now we'll deal with that tail in a minute. We can leave that hanging out of the way, that's fine. The next part is the body. For that we use strung peacock curl. With the peacock curl we're gonna use three fibers and take each fiber between the thumb and forefinger at each end. And just give it a sharp pull like that and you'll see it breaks off and it'll break at the weak point in that feather so that way you are finding the weak point in the feather and breaking it you see that one actually also bent at the base we're going to get rid of that we're going to find that weak point in the feather break it off and that way it doesn't come apart on us when we're tying the fly and we half wrap the body and have the feather under the tension. Right, so all three are snapped out. Then we'll simply align the tip ends of those fibers and capture them on the hook with our thread. Then bring the thread forward, binding them down to that two-third mark on the, on the hook shank. Then we're going to take these fibers together. Some people will actually twist them around into a rope. I find A, it weakens it, B, it also crushes the fibers. You don't get as fluffy a, a, uh, a wrap, so I keep them separate. Just be careful not to catch the hook point on the way around. We'll start wrapping the body. And we're going to overlap our wraps several times just to build up a little bit of bulk on the body remembering this is a beetle pattern so you do want to have a little bit of a round body obviously to imitate the natural and give it a nice profile from beneath so once we've wrapped that around and come forward back to the thread, bring our thread over the back a couple of times, around in front, then we can bind down on it, capturing all those fibers and trim off the excess and a couple of wraps. I'll just pop a 
pop a half hitch in there just to secure that in place. Okay, next we are going to tie in the hackle. For this, I'm using a saddle hackle pack from the Lost Fly in a chocolate brown. You can use one of these packs that are available from our site or a feather from a full saddle or a half saddle. You can also use a cape if you like, but the tapered feather doesn't give you as much to work with, whereas the saddle feathers are nice and even. So with this, we're just going to preen back some of those feather, those fibers at the front of the feather and then pluck them out about an eighth of an inch just to open, just to clean up that stem and then placing that on the hook shank secure that in place making sure we still leave some space at the eye of the hook then it's just a matter of coming back and wrapping these around in touching wraps. We're going to get a bit of overlapping going on here with these fibers, which will cause them to splay out. And it creates a nice bushy hackle rather than a very neat even hackle that way you get a lot of contact on the surface area and it gives it a nice buggy look just keep pruning that back as we wrap around One or two more wraps. Don't want to go too close to the eye of the hook. And one more should do it. Then we bring our thread up, maintaining tension on that feather. Wrap around the back a couple of times. Then around the front. And then with our half hitch tool, Still keeping tension on that thread. Pop a half itch in there to secure that. Then we can trim off that excess. And then I'm going to go to a slightly larger half itch tool just to force those errant fibers back away from the eye slightly. Once that's done, out with the whip finisher and just a four or five turn whip finish, making sure we don't capture any of those errant feather fibers. And there's always one, isn't there? Trim that thread off, trim that annoying little fibre, and our hackle is done. Now we just need to work on this tail, just untwist it slightly, take a bodkin, and work those fibres a little bit. And I'll take my loon all-purpose scissors, nice and sharp, come in and trim that off in one clean cut. So we've got a nice edge on it. And then we can take our bodkin and puff that out a little bit. Then it's just a matter of applying a bit of head cement, if you like, to the tip of the fly make sure that the thread doesn't come undone and you're right to go out and fish it so there you go that's the red tag um, time in all different sizes they work in all different waters be it lakes or streams you know they're a great beetle pattern or just as a general you know searching pattern 
Um, go out, tie for yourself. If you're after any of the materials, they're available in the Trout or Fly Tying store. I will put a links to all the materials in the description down there. And of course, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe to our channel. We're doing more videos every week. If you have any requests, by all means, get in touch. I'll see what I can do. And apart from that, happy tying. Cheers.